check in with Taylor McGregor. Jordan Travis, the last five games, 12 touchdowns, only one interception, and completing passes at a 75% rate. Travis will keep, and Bernie's got him in the backfield for a loss. Florida State, one of the best in the country on third downs. And they convert the first one. Pokey Wilson, a gain of 22. And he lost the ball at the end, and Florida's got it. There's a fumble recovered by the defense. Florida State making the case that Wilson was down. Uh, they will undoubtedly look at this. Shamir James doing a tremendous job of wrapping up the ball carrier and then going for the strip. Textbook play by the true freshman out of Mobile, Alabama. And that ball's out. That ball is coming out before he goes down. You mentioned Shamar James, the four-star freshman. Uh, he's in there because Ventrell Miller has suspended the first half for targeting. How about that? Stepping up with when you need to, right? You got your leader out. Your linebacker that calls the play for your defense and Ventrell Miller. Well, hey, the true freshman stepping up. Richardson steps up, has a running lane, and he's tripped up shy of the marker by Kevin Knowles, the nickelback, a gain of six. Play clock down to one. They just get it off. Johnson doesn't get there. Florida gives it right back on a turnover on downs, and now Trey Benson finds an opening. Benson stays on his feet. Down inside the 10-yard line. A gain of 46. Saved the touchdown for Florida. Trey Benson breaking the big one on the strong outside zone play. At 900 yards rushing on the season. Benson again, touchdown Seminoles! Florida State came into this game leading the country with explosive plays, adding their 81st on the season after that drive. Trey Benson finishing it off with a strong power play behind big Cameron McDonald at the tight end position. He really didn't start getting the majority of his carries until three weeks ago. He only has 121 carries on the season, already approaching 1,000 yards. The guy's a big-time playmaker. This is Trevor Etienne. And Florida will begin close to midfield. Richards into the air. Let's it fly. Pearsall, wide open. Counterpunch, Florida. Let the fireworks fly. Here we go. 12 sacks this season. Anthony Richardson does a great job. Staying patient, hangs in the pocket, takes the big hit, which allows his receiver, Ricky Pearsall, on the double move. He sold a corner route and then took it up as a go. This first quarter providing the espresso. No coffee needed for this one. Needs to play big with Ventrell Miller out until the second half. The senior Bernie leads the team in takeaways in the 2022 campaign. Quick release and a completion. Kentron Portier, a gain of 16. Florida showing blitz. Travis moves the pocket. This time he hits his tight end, McDonald, who's got a first down in the Gator territory. It's because they run the ball so efficiently on first and second down. Expect to see an extra safety in the box for the Gators. Another blitz, and this time Travis takes off. Serpents around the edge, gets out of bounds. On the ground. And nothing doing. Jason Marshall, the corner, throwing Toa Philly down for a loss of two. Florida State, 51% on third downs. Florida defensively at 48%, among the worst in the country. Flag down. Throw to the sideline is incomplete. Trayshawn Ward joining Travis in the backfield. 
Florida brings pressure. Pocket holds. Travis running right. Throws on the run and nearly intercepted. Well, Billy Napier's got a lot of faith in some of his young wideouts. A few who shined last week in the loss to Vandy. Johnson left side. Into Florida State territory for a gain of 21. On third down, they run it. It's Johnson, and he's got a first down. They run it again. First down, ETN. Richardson rolls right. Completes to Odom. Touchdown, Florida. Jonathan Odom into the end zone. Second receiving touchdown of the season. And the Gators take the lead. Tight end Jonathan Odom, who slides across the formation on the play action, gets lost. Florida State getting caught with their eyes in the backfield with the run game. Only the third catch of the season for Odom whose dad, Jason, was a former All-American at Florida. Single back power, that single pulling guard, they're able to mush and find positive yards. Clean pocket, Travis wants Johnny Wilson, who brings it in with one hand. The craziest thing about that, Jason Marshall, who's covering him, he's six foot one, that's a big corner. But what Johnny Wilson says, hey, I'm six foot seven, just throw it up a little bit higher, I'll go get it. Travis hits Portier for a first down inside the Florida 30. You're going to get the linebackers and safeties to step up, and then you can hit that pop pass over their heads. Out of a two tight end set, Travis runs, finds a small hole, gets free. Inside the 10, still dancing, and in! And that's Fred Astaire. That's Barishnikov tiptoeing the sideline. Fitzgerald evens the game. Florida's got 14 in the opening quarter. Richardson to the air. And there's that howitzer of an arm. It's complete to Pearsall. A flag flies in on the back end of the play. Second down, Florida near midfield. They empty it out. Hard count by Richardson. Four-man rush. Richardson flushed. Sidearms it, and it's picked off. Jarian Jones, his first interception of the season. What a play by Jarian Jones with the interception. Anthony Richardson didn't like what he saw downfield, moved outside the pocket. Anytime you're sliding to your left and throwing back to a receiver, coming back to his right, you have to make sure that he can't get undercut by the defensive back. And that's exactly what Jones does here, undercutting the ball, trying to get to Jonathan Odom, something Anthony Richardson has not done as of late. Benson gets the call on first down and slams right into that Florida failing. I'm not sure he ever had possession of it. Third down, Travis downfield, a lot of contact, and we'll get a flag. Marshall in coverage. Third down, they run it. Caught Florida off guard. It's Ward with a gain of 17. Big Jazz. Turn of time, six foot seven, 336 pounds right there on the edge. Travis with time. And off the hands of his intended target. No good. Four-man rush, clean pocket, Richardson completes its Pearsall into Florida State territory and out of bounds at the 43-yard line, a gain of 33. Three catches, 96 yards in this first half.
And why wouldn't you feature Ricky Pearsall? He's one of the best route runners in the country. And when you catch him in man... Richardson down the seam. Pearsall to the house. His second touchdown. 43 yards. Getting Ricky in the slot. Man to man on Kevin Knowles. Simply just running a little seam route right down the hash. Perfect throw by Anthony Richardson. Touchdown passes by Richardson. Pearsall has a career high in receiving yards. And there's still nine and a half. It's a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. So first and three. Travis again to the air. He's got Benson underneath. Daylight and then some in the darkness. And he takes it inside the 35, a gain of 34. The backfield running the old Texas route. You kind of sell the flat. Then you stick your foot in the ground. You come back to the middle. Jordan Travis does a tremendous job of looking off the defense opposite. Travis boots to his right. And scampers out of bounds. He picked up nine on the play. Travis keeps it, fooled the defense, and gets out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Third and 10 from the 11. Travis under pressure, trying to escape, able to escape. Turns the corner, stays in bounds. Sports Center top 10. He's down inside the one. It's going to be first and goal. Jordan Travis, Anthony Richardson, these are two quarterbacks that will not be denied tonight. Jordan Travis does an incredible job of getting out of multiple sacks and turns it into a possible touchdown. The ruling on the field is that the runner was short of the goal line. The previous plays in the video review. Now there's two questions here. One, where's the ball when the knee goes down? The other question is, does he begin to slide? Because if they rule that he began to slide, you're going to spot the ball at where he started the slide. You're exactly right, but I don't think Jordan Travis is trying to slide there. I, I simply think he's trying to make a, a cut there and slips, kind of going down. He's getting ready to lower his shoulder and slips a little bit. There's a little bit of rain on that field before the game. I think he just lost his footing. I don't think he's trying to slide there. Have you seen a definitive angle yet? Now, right there, you can see where the knee goes down, but... From that angle, it's hard to tell if the ball Here we go. is across the plane. This might be it. Three tight ends in the game. Travis keeps it. This time, indisputable. That's a touchdown. Quarterbacks dueling at Doak. Jordan Travis doing a great job on the QB keeper, following his tight end, Preston Daniel, into the end zone, untouched for six. Richardson hands to Montrell Johnson. And the Louisiana transfer picks up 16 on the play. Once again, it's Johnson. Into Florida State Territory, a pickup of a dozen more. Robinson to stop. On the ground, ETN staggers and picks up a first down across the 40. A gain of 10 for the freshman Trevor ETN. Richardson under center and moves the pile. Here's the blitz. Richardson downfield incomplete. Left it short. Intended for Jordan Pouncey. A 41 yarder for the lead. And Florida goes up 24 21. Florida showing pressure. They bring it. 
Travis downfield for Portier. Incomplete, covered by Dean, the safety. Ricky Pearsall waits inside his 35. Good kick. Pearsall back to the 25. Broke the initial tackle. Stumbling, stays on his feet. And zigzags his way close to the 30 at the 29-yard line while Johnny Wilson going into the locker room a few seconds before halftime. A run play here on first down. ETN is wrapped up. Malcolm Ray had him in his embrace. And that will be the final play of half number one. Edge pressure. Richardson hit incomplete. Wanted Dante Sanders his tight end. That one took a Florida bounce. It's fielded after a 52-yard kick, and Micah Pittman able to hold on. Complete to Pittman and a first down at the 35-yard line. A gain of a dozen for Micah Pittman. They do run it, and they do get it. It's going to be a great chess match here. Do you play man or zone to keep eyes on the quarterback? Ninth play of the drive. Travis throws. Able to complete. It's Preston Daniel. Normally a blocking tight end to just his third catch of the season. It's shy of the marker. Expect to see some type of zone read scheme where Travis could give it, keep it, and still have an RPO option for the third layer of this play. He fakes the pass. He'll run. He's got a first down. So a Philly, the running back. Delayed pressure. Travis looking for Pittman. It's tipped. And was that caught? It was caught out of bounds. And one official at the end of the play ruled it an incomplete pass. It's been an up and down season for Fitzgerald. This to tie the game. Twenty-four all with 8.53 to go in the third. Here's the blitz. Richardson looking for an escape route, and he is submerged. Shaheen Brown the first to get there, and the Gators go three and out. Anthony Richardson really with the coverage sack. Just getting this one off. Pittman signals for a fair catch and makes it after a 43-yard punt. I mean, I, I, I'm just overwhelmed. This is like the pinnacle of my career. You've played in this game. What makes this rivalry different? I mean, it's just a natural hatred <laughs> for each other. I would say that's pretty good. Thanks for the time. Anish? Uh, thank you, Taylor. Thank you, Marvin Jones. Travis loads up deep downfield for McLean. And he hauls it in. Down to the 12 yard line, a gain of 44. And Jordan Travis needed that. Jordan Travis on that last drive, getting things started off with the big post down the field. A chance now for the Knowles to retake the lead. They trailed by three at the half. Benson cut down. A flag at the very end of the play. It's hard to put together 10, 12, 14 play drives. So Mike ends that by finding explosive plays and getting into the end zone in half that time. There is Travis. Swims by defender and then sidesteps out of bounds. And he gets you back in rhythm and you're seeing the Florida State Seminoles have some success on this drive. Third down and 11. Gators bring pressure. Travis in trouble. Running away. Accelerates to it. The end zone slides. Touchdown! Jordan Travis doing everything he possibly Toss left, Benson angles in for the score.
take over the lead at home at Dope Campbell Stadium. Jordan Travis, ladies and gentlemen. Blitz. Richardson launches deep. Incomplete. Wanted the freshman Douglas. It's consistency. When he plays consistent football, he's as good as anybody. When he's not consistent, things are definitely up and down. Here comes Pittman, and out of bounds across the Seminole 45. And we'll get a late hit on Florida. 70-65, and he's brought back to you. Meanwhile, Florida State continuing to press downhill. The tight end, McDonald, inside the Gator 15. Another explosive 32 through the air. Acts like he's blocking, and then at the last second, sneaks out wide open. Two tight ends into the game. Travis lofts it to the end zone. That's going to be a hold. And you really see Florida State starting to take over this momentum. Travis rolling right. Throws end zone. Touchdown, Knowles. Portier. You really get the sense that Mike Norvell is starting to catch rhythm as a play caller, getting the Gators on their heels. Kentron Portier does a great job of sliding behind the Gator defense off the play action. A lot of eye candy there for that Gator defense to look at. You got a speed sweep, you got a play action, you got a boot. Portier able to slip. Fitzgerald connects. Gators have gone three and out on every series this quarter. And they finally break one. ETN lowers his shoulder. And they mark him out at the 40-yard line of Florida State. A pickup of 35. Richardson keeps, stumbles. Cyclone's out of trouble and uses that 230-pound frame to fight forward inside the 25. I'll tell you what, I have goosebumps right now. This is what rivalry football is all about. Neither one of these quarterbacks wants to lose tonight. You can see the will to win right there with Anthony Richardson. Big-time play. ATM goes wide. Quarterback draw. Richardson. Legs churning. Can he get there? Gonna be a little shy. Fourth down. Johnson up the middle. Fighting forward to the six yard line. It's first and goal. Tremendous play by the backup quarterback. And he stays in. Hands it off. Not much traction. Richardson split wide Johnson will take the snap Douglas in motion Johnson the snap hit from behind and he stopped second down flag down on the near side Johnson finds a lane and scores but there is a flag Edge pressure. Richardson rolling out toward the end zone. A lot of contact, and we'll get another flag. A lot of juice down there on the football field right now. Johnson leaping, and he's in. It's a touchdown. Listen, you give the Florida Gators that many plays from inside the five-yard line. Gators bring pressure. Travis hit. Down he goes. The ball came out. Antoine Powell Ryland creating the fumble for the Florida Gators coming off the edge. And the Seminoles now have to punt. 
Pearsall, the return man for Florida. And momentum swinging back to the Gators. What a play by Powell Ryland, just chopping down the arm by the offensive tackle, ripping through, getting underneath. Toa Feely able to cover up the football. Mastromano the punt. Pearsall has some room to run and zigzags his way to midfield. A 44 yard kick. They run it! Big hole for ETN! ETN in the end zone! The Gators a point after from tying it up! Definitely some confusion by the Florida State defense. You see some late communication trying to get lined up. The Seminoles weren't set and the Gators took advantage of it. A Mack truck could have gone. Now Mahalik on for the tie. The extra point good. Making sure there's great communication and everyone's on the same page right now for the Seminoles. Back to Ward, got away from one, and then wrapped up for a big loss. It's third down. Prince Lee, Umami Ellen, the first to get in there. Travis wants Johnny Wilson. Who brings it in? Inbounds at the 40-yard line. A gain of 21, a seminal first down. 81 yards on the ground for Travis. He'll get some more. Stays on his feet. Travis dropped close to the 10-yard line. A pickup of 25. Seminoles on offense. Benson finding the edge. And runs out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Florida State catching the Florida Gators, not set. A lot of communication taking place by the Gators, which is inexcusable on a third. Get their skill guys, get their ball carriers outside where they can make yards and make hay. Florida Gators have yet to set that edge tonight. And a 200-yard run streak continues. The lad on with Benson. Steel hammer, stiff arm, and a touchdown. Big Jazz turn time at right tackle, number 79. Six foot seven, 336 pounds leading the way on the counter play here. Does a tremendous job. You see the kick out, turn time leading up. That is textbook run game play by the Florida State Seminoles. The extra point, good. Richardson in the pocket. Now runs. A flag is down as Richardson takes it to midfield. The penalty marker back at the 23-yard line. Richardson. Incomplete for Pearsall, no flag. Richardson, incomplete, Florida State football, hang on, there's a flag. Poor Was call by the officials. Contact right before no, the no, ball not, arrived. A, not in a rivalry game, not on fourth down. That Richardson was play. has his man in the flat, it's Odom. And he's into seminal territory. A gain of 23 out of bounds. Four-man twist. Richardson to the outside. Odom again out of bounds. Florida State brings pressure. Richardson incomplete for Reynolds. Pearsall in motion. Richardson keeps. Runs to the outside. Sheds a tackler and runs out of bounds after picking up the first down. A lot of credit to these two young signal callers. 
Seminoles load up the box. To the outside, that's caught. And that's Xanders. He gets out of bound. Johnson goes wide. Richardson, quarterback run. And drags the man with him forward. Richardson to the air. Downfield, caught by Douglas. Oh, it came out at the end. False start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Any completion's a good completion. Richardson throws it away. There's a flag down. Edge pressure. Richardson trying to get away. Chucks it downfield. Incomplete. Nine wins for Mike Norvell. A chance to get to double digits in bowl season. And tonight, we witnessed the highest scoring game in series history.